Hello and welcome to Tempo in Motion. My name is Stefan Anderman. Um, today I'm going to be talking about balance and rhythm. Um, balance, rhythm and symmetry also. So we're looking for balance of the body, both muscularly, flexibility wise, um, movement, and then also the rhythm that goes along with that. So um, rhythm is in every sport, also balance um, helps every sport. So if you are in an asymmetrical sport, such as golf or tennis, um, sometimes even boxing, uh, you start getting these patterns that, that are poor patterns that are dominant on one side, and they usually come in a diagonal motion. So if you're a golfer or a boxer, you usually want to practice, even though you might be uh, in boxing or in martial arts, you may be orthodox. You also want to practice on the southpaw stance because it balances your muscles out. It's like anything else. If we practice one thing too long in one position, we get these overuse injuries that lead to these muscular tensions in part of our body and um, deactivation in other parts of our body. Now, a lot of this just ends up in our neural system and then it, it takes hold in our, in our soft tissue. And all these can be undone. We just need to practice undoing them. In order to improve our flexibility and our motion, which remember, all this other stuff is supposed to improve our motion, hence tempo and motion, rhythm, flexibility, strength, should all improve motion. And that's the hierarchy, motion first. Whereas we train these individual components, such as strength, flexibility, and then rhythm, we should always look at, is the motion good? If flexibility improves motion, then we do it. If strength improves motion, then we do it. And then if rhythm improves motion, then we do it. So always have that hierarchy or that measurement is, is it improving my motion? Perfect motion lends to perfect biomechanics. Then that improves your sport.